This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build your online presence. I built my brand new website, hellosola.com on Squarespace. It was so easy to use, I recommend it if you're looking to build your website yourself. Go to squarespace.com slash babish and use code babish to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Ladies and gentlemen, today Sola El Whaley is putting a spin on a boozy brunch. It's time to stump Sola. One-handed. One-handed. You have to make a boozy brunch one-handed. One-handed. How are you going to do that? I don't know, but I'm going to start with a Bloody Mary. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to cook one-handed, at least do it drunk. Am I right? Exactly. If yeah. you're going to drink, cook one-handed. It works both ways. They say that if you're a chef, you should be able to cook eggs one-handed. So let's see if that's true. Do they say that? I feel like they. someone says it. Oh, my. I haven't cracked an egg with one hand before. I have small hands. Well, I mean, they, they say that a sign of a good chef is small hands. Is it? And cracking an egg with one hand and no, cooking an egg with one hand? <laughs> <laughs> well, as usual, I can't wait to try it, and I'm glad I don't have to make it. We'll see you on the other side. See you on the other side. <laughs> so, I'm making brunch one-handed. Boozy brunch. Oh, that's the most important part. We can't forget that it's boozy. Okay, so I think that the key to this is gonna be making a good game plan and strategy because I need to like make sure I have everything nearby before I lose my hand. <laughs> so boozy brunch, we have to start with a Bloody Mary. And then I can drink it while we make the rest of the stuff. There's gonna be a lot of opening of tiny bottles, which I don't think it's gonna be too bad. You know, you can just grip it. I'm gonna try and avoid knives as much as possible because we have to shoot more episodes. I wanna put a rim on it. A nice celery salt and Aleppo rim. We're gonna garnish with celery. We should put a grilled cheese on there. Why the hell not? Itty bitty baby grilled cheese. I think I can make a grilled cheese one-handed. That's not a big deal. All right, that's the Bloody Mary. When I think of brunch, I want an Eggs Benedict. I'm gonna make the English muffin. I need a couple of heavy objects to put the muffin in between, and then I can like fork split it. Normally, an Eng it, the English muffin is topped with Canadian bacon. That's like lightly griddled. I don't like Canadian bacon, so we're gonna do some smoked sable. Poaching eggs one hand. I am not good at cutting, at cracking eggs one handed. I've never successfully done it, so we'll see. Okay, now the sauce. Traditionally, it's a hollandaise, but I wanna get some alcohol in my dish as well. So I think instead of a hollandaise, I'm gonna do a beurre blanc. Beurre blanc is super rich, so I'm gonna cut all that richness with something. So I'm gonna use some pickled cherry peppers, and then we assemble. So I guess it's time to get started. By hand. Shall we begin? I'm gonna start by making the dough for the English muffin. First, I need to warm up some milk, 200 grams. Now I guess I'm gonna try and crack an egg one-handed. Wow, this is not gonna work out well. Whoa, not bad. Mm -mm -mm. Am I gonna just crush this and it's gonna be super boring? It's possible. Okay, I need a teaspoon of salt, tablespoon of sugar, yeast. I spoke too soon. Oh, hey. Hey now. Teaspoon of yeast. So we need one and a half tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna avoid knives unless they're absolutely necessary. Did you use your hand? No, I didn't. I didn't use my hand. This isn't so bad. All right, 280 grams of flour. So this is gonna paddle together for about five minutes. We want it to get nice and stretchy. The final dough is kinda, kinda look like that spetzel dough we made way back in episode one. Oops. So this feels ready to go. Didn't think about this part. Okay, here we go. So I just want to scrape this down. I'm just gonna use bowl scraper to mm. gather it all together. Okay. I guess this episode is gonna be about physical comedy. All right. So it's kind of just gathered together. I'm gonna cover that and let it ferment for about an hour while I get everything else ready. Next, Bloody Marys. I really wanted to start with this, but we need to let the dough ferment. So. I'm gonna make enough Bloody Mary mix for the whole team. Ugh. I feel like this is sealed on extra tight. I wanna like sit on the ground and hold it between my legs. 
Oh, okay, here we go. I think the most difficult thing is gonna be grating the horseradish, so I'm gonna do that first. Fresh horseradish makes a big difference in your Bloody Mary. Not to be inappropriate, that is a very... <laughs> Ooh. It's very important to work clean. Ugh. All right, now, I didn't really plan this part out well. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I think that's the only way I have to hold it down with something. Or. Okay. No. Can we grate directly into there? Nope. I think this is gonna be the way. Am I gonna have to hold it with my face? <laughs> I'd really rather not. Shoulder feels like more ladylike to me. <laughs> this is a physically demanding episode. We need more. We're gonna make this so delicious. It's not enough. It's still not enough. This is uh, really tiring. Hold on, I need a break. It's gonna be worth it, because at the end we're gonna have Bloody Marys. That's all I keep telling myself, you know? I think about the all for the Bloody Marys. Oh God, it's in my eye! Oh. Let me make the journey a little shorter. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna take like two hours, easy peasy. And it just took me two hours to grate horseradish. I was gonna do some lemon zest, but I think I'm not. You know? We did it, that was good, that was good. I feel good about that, right? Cool, lemon juice. Hmm. Come on, buddy, come on, shh. Should I poke you first, get it going? Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. Oops. We'll do a little pickle juice. Hmm. Hmm. That's the only way. It's the only way. Okay. Maybe not. <sighs> Jars are hard. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I have thighs of steel. Let's see. I can use the armpit? What are the rules here? Do I have... It's one hand. Hand. I have yeah. arms. I have arms. Oh, God. Okay, that's not going to work either. I'm going to try this again. Okay, 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 good. All right, a little pickle juice, Oops. a little hot sauce. I like it spicy. We're sure, sure, sure. Legs. Oh, oh yeah. A little Worcestershire. Oh, God, too much! <laughs> Aleppo, celery salt, black pepper. This is what I'm doing today, I guess. Ooh, yeah, I think that's good. I wanna cut some lemons because I want to rim the glass with like a celery salt Aleppo situation. Knife, I think I'm all done with you for now. Am I done with you for the day? Damn it, the celery! You can't have a Bloody Mary without the celery because you want to have a snack with your drink. Feel healthy, you know, it's Sunday. Start the week right with some vegetables. Bloody Mary is like all about garnish, so I also want to garnish with some tiny grilled cheese. Oh, we got this. We got this. Okay. Got, ooh, brioche. Nice, got the good stuff. I'm a mayo grilled cheese kind of person. Bread, cheese, whoopsies. Grilled cheese, that's easy to do one-handed. While that does that thing, I'm gonna prepare a glass for myself. Why the hell not? I've earned it. It's already been a really long morning. Oh, I forgot to rim it. Hold on, hold on. 
I'm gonna do a half rim. We are just chugging along. You can't stop me that easily, huh? Huh? Things might get a little more complicated once I start drinking this. How's, how are you looking in there, buddy? Not there yet. Let's cover it. I'm just gonna use this. Ugh. Never worked so hard to make Bloody Mary before. Hey! You know what's the best part? When you get these little crispy bits that stick to the pan. Come here. It's gonna be so worth it when I get that crusty bit. Got a little bit. Yeah, that's worth it. I don't regret my decisions in life. None of them. Okay, grilled cheese. I think that works. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I guess we have to keep going. I'm just gonna eat this for a minute. I worked hard for this Bloody Mary. Mm. Okay, back to work. Now I'm going to make the beurre blanc. So I wanna start by reducing some cream. While that does that. I'm gonna cube up some butter. Beurre blanc is just a lot of butter and a lot of wine. So you wanna use cold butter, cut it into cubes so that it's like really slowly, gradually being incorporated. If you add it in too quickly, the emulsion will just break. <sighs> I feel like this episode is gonna reveal to the audience that I have some OCD tendencies. Because even incapacitated, I'm trying to keep everything straight. <sighs> I think maybe a sane person wouldn't. Is this entertaining, watching me? Very slowly cube butter. Yeah, look at all those cubes. Pop this in the fridge. I wanted to finish the beurre blanc with some of these peppers. Ooh, come on, buddy. Yeah. I think that I will really appreciate using both hands now. You don't think about how much work your left hand does when you're cooking. Stabilizing stuff, helping you pick the cheese off of a pan. Mm-hmm. Should I just chop it? I'll just chop it. Let's just go for it. We don't need to be precise. I did it. I think now I actually am done with the knife. <gasps> can you peek into here? You can see it's like really reduced. One way you know that your cream is there is the bubbles get really big. Wine. Thank God it's a screw top. That was just a happy coincidence. We didn't even think about it until after the wine was purchased. I think I'm gonna do like half the bottle and we're gonna reduce this until it is like nothing. All right, that's gonna take a while again. Okay, so now we're back. Some time has passed, as you can tell. Mm, my wine has totally reduced. Take a peek in there. Ooh, this is making it hard to focus. Ooh. <laughs> Before we start emulsifying the butter, I want to try and form the bread right now. I don't know how I'm going to do this with one hand. We're going to figure it out. Poofy. Now, let's see how we get this out of here. Whoopsies. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Hey, clean. Almost clean. So I want to divide this into eight portions. And I can already feel that this is a lot lighter than this one. I didn't split that evenly. Damn it. Now we're gonna try and roll it into a ball. You wanna be really gentle. You're just rolling it around. If you're new to this, it can help to do it with two hands, but I don't have two hands today. And you wanna keep going until you get rid of the butthole. It's not about aesthetics. You're lining up the gluten strands in like a nice spherical way so it proofs nicely. And this is gonna proof just, just for like 20 minutes. It's gonna get nice, light, poofy, and then we're gonna cook them up. <sighs> All right. The griddling begins over like medium heat, maybe like 10 minutes. While this cooks, I'm gonna crack my eggs so they're ready to go. Here we go, here we go. Yee. Ha ha, good start. I'm crushing this. Why waste time cracking eggs with two hands? I may never go back. It's a two Bloody Mary kind of day, you know? I'll make a little one, just a baby one. 
Boom, boom, boom. I guess we're just waiting on these to cook, then we're gonna poach eggs and we're gonna bring it all together. See how they keep poofing? So pretty. Ho oh, ho, yeah, let's flippy. Oh, 200. Oh, okay, perfect, fantastic. These are done. Nailed it. We're gonna poach eggs. We want it to get to almost a simmer. While this comes up, I'm gonna try and split those. We have to fork split them. Can I just, huh, yeah. I'll use the muffins to hold the muffin up. Fork split is really, really important. You know, those nooks, those crannies, we want them all. I'm going to toast these now, and we are not gonna burn them, because we've come too far. Okay, we're gonna start poaching eggs. I hear that doing this is good. I don't know if it is, but I just do it because everyone's told me I should. Okay, that egg looks good. Keep spinning, guys, keep spinning. The hard part is, once they're all in there, which one was the first guy? Ooh, hello. Oh, oh my God, I still got it, guys. Okay, oh God, oh God, they, those need to come out. They need to come out now. I did it. Look at how pretty they look. Okay, those eggs need to come out too. How are you guys doing? Good. I'm talking to my eggs. Oh. <laughs> Burr Blanc. Yeah. Kendall. The struggles. <sighs> okay. All right. Line up the bloodies. Line them up. Oh yeah, that looks good. A Burr Blanc. Guys, we did it. You don't have brunch alone, you know? Buh. Buh blanc. Buh blanc. Buh. 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 I've had, this is my second one. I can tell. <laughs> hey! What do we got here? I did too. It turned out so much better than I thought. They look incredible. Homemade English muffins. Smoked sable. Poached egg. Spicy burr blanc. Margarita. What is that? Oh, uh, uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary with a little grilled cheese. A truly loaded Bloody Mary because it's got, it's a meal in and of itself, mm -hmm. which is any mm -hmm. Bloody Mary should be. I got Ooh, a look at that. Egg. Ooze. Enjoy it. You've done such beautiful work. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. The English muffin is so light. Fluffy. Fluff Fluffy. city. Good spicy from that mm. burr blanc. But Buh. Big cheers. Maybe just stir the vodkas on top. Vodkas on top. Here goes my straw. Is that a <laughs> mouthful of vodka? Yeah. No, yeah, the vodka's on top. Oh, that's a good Bloody Mary. What's in the Bloody Mary? Freshly grated horseradish. How did you grate horseradish with one arm? I don't know. They know. <laughs> You've made a better poached egg, English muffin, and beurre blanc than I ever could with three hands. <laughs> So, not stumped. It did take two hours longer than I thought. That doesn't mean you're stumped. <laughs> I think that's, if it, it took like four hours total. It took two hours longer than you thought. One hand, do the math, people. The you can't even so tell hard. that it's one-handed. Well, we'll see you next time on Stump Solo, where we'll keep trying to stump Solo and failing. It's in my beard. I know. Mm -hmm. I know it is. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to help build your website. Check out my new website, hellosola.com, which I built on Squarespace. The platform is user-friendly and easy to use, so I was able to set up my website exactly how I imagined it. You can find my recipes, recent videos, sign up for my newsletter, or just look at photos of my dogs. Go to squarespace.com babish and use code babish to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.